Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. And today's Wednesday, which would normally be a Salvation Army uh, half off day haul video. Um, we're having some crazy weather, which I'll show you guys in just a second. So I'm not going to venture out in it. It's like potentially tornadoes and real severe weather. Um, so I'm going to stay in and get some work done today. Uh, do some listing in a few minutes and some other work I have to do. Catch up on accounting, my least favorite thing to do. But anyways, let's jump over to the uh, other screen. I'll show you what I'm talking about with our weather today. And a question that everybody's been asking me is, if you didn't have eBay and Amazon, where could you go to sell some of your bigger merchandise, heavier merchandise, uh, things you don't want to ship, maybe some handmade things, just in the, the event that eBay and Amazon are not working for you, or they're not quick enough, or you have merchandise that's not moving, what else can you do with it? So let's jump over to my screen, and I'll show you all the other options that you have. Okay, so here is my, uh, my computer screen here, and just to give you an idea why I'm not doing the half-off Salvation Army Day, this is Tampa weather radar as of um, this afternoon, and uh, you guys can see uh, I live right where that dot is in that general neighborhood, and we are about to get hammered by some rain and possible tornadoes, so everybody be safe out there if you live in the Florida area. Um, let's move on. One of the first platforms that you can absolutely sell on is your Facebook group now this is my facebook group which is ebay amazon thrifter reseller world we have twenty nine thousand members but there's also groups and member groups for other groups such as uh virtual resale like uh virtual um yard sale groups here's a good one this one's in my area i'll click on it for you guys and this one has twenty three thousand members and this is a virtual yard sale group and they'll have you know, a bunch of rules and things you can and can't sell, whatever, but you are allowed to advertise your items just like you would at a yard sale. And then you would just go and buy them locally in cash, just like you would. Now, see, here's another one, Pokemon DS, 3DS games. Somebody put them up for $35, which isn't a bad price. Probably could have made a little money off those. They're already pending pickup though. So you would just scroll down and you can find items for sale or list your items that you want to sell and it makes it really easy, especially when you've got 23,000 members in one city. This is just one city, so that's pretty good um, pretty good uh, coverage. Now, I know it says like four cities, but this is all make up of one big city around us. Um, so in the, in the matter of about a five-mile radius, you've got tw almost 24,000 members. That's pretty good. So you could do a good job in selling stuff on Facebook groups. Let's go to the next one, which everyone knows. This is Craigslist, everybody's favorite from all the way back in the day. Craigslist, just a marketplace. You can see I'm in the Tampa Bay area. You just come down here to the for sale section and list your item in the correct section. Let's say you're looking for some clothes to sell. And here you go. Here's some people that have advertised some items they have for sale. Patagonia shorts, 10 bucks. I mean, almost to where you could buy them and flip them. Women's designer clothes, Rock and Revival, Laguna jeans, people selling other stuff. You can see that. And then you can also list your own things to sell. So you could find stuff to flip for sale on here or sell your own goods. So that's number two. We'll move on to Poshmark, which is the newest craze. This is better on the app. I'm showing you guys the website. Obviously, you would download this to your um, phone, the Poshmark app. And then you basically sign in with a Facebook or a Google Plus. You can use an email and you list your um, merchandise. They call it a closet, basically. It'll be like you know Joe's closet or Megan's closet or whatever. And you would list all of your goods. You take the photos, list them, and people go on and find your merchandise just like they would anywhere else. You also have a social networking aspect of this uh, app and site where you share it with other people and other people share their closets. And so kind of through the social networking, um, you end up reaching more people, which will obviously increase your sales. Um, it does take a lot of time to kind of feed the Poshmark beast to kind of keep sharing and, and building your notoriety on there. So keep that in mind. Okay, next would be Macari, which has kind of fallen off the, um, the platform a little bit. People use it a lot, but people don't like the fees. People don't like a lot of the usage of it. They use Poshmark more than they use Macari, but there's still a lot of people using this and uh, it's worth at least taking a look at. Again, download it on the iTunes or the Google Play Store. It's better as an app. Take your photos just like you would any other app. Just one more option that you can use to sell on. Okay, the next one, another app. These are all apps. Um, again, iPhone or Android. This is OfferUp, and this is local. This is like having Craigslist in your pocket. 
you list your item and you guys might have seen a lot of commercials for this one but you would list your item and here it is here's somebody selling an iphone 6 in tampa you just put the price the title a little description your location whatever and uh and it's up for sale locally just like they would on craigslist they can go in the app they can click on it they can message you and uh, you can arrange to meet with them and sell the item or if you want to buy some items to flip you could certainly do that as well come on here and make um offers to people the other app the last one in this little group of things is called let go it works exactly the same as offer up and this is local as well Macari and Poshmark are for shipping across the country. It's mainly clothing. Offer up and let go are for other bigger items, clothing, electronics, shoes, bikes, whatever. You're selling it local, so it can be any size, really. Um, and then you would just go on here and list your item, and then people can click on it and message you to buy it locally. Um, I'm going to type this in. Uh, this is one that I've just heard about recently. It's called the Real Real. And this is for designer clothing and accessories, purses, I believe, as well. Um, I am not a member of this, so it's going to be hard for me to see it. But you would go on here. You'd sign up with Facebook or sign in. And uh, this basically is a consignment place where you will send it in to them. And when they sell it, they'll write you a check. So it's another one to look at, therealreal.com. A website that everyone knows about is Etsy. Etsy.com is for crafts, jewelry, handmade items, vintage items. Uh, a lot of, you know, store-bought items are popular on here as well. But uh, here's graduation items, birthstone items. Uh, there's gifts for him, wedding parties, baby parties, customized. You can go through here. There's hundreds and thousands of categories of stuff that you can list or that you could potentially buy. Um, I've seen some people that have bought off Etsy and flipped. So both ways works on here. And then the last way that I'm going to um, mention for you guys is the obvious direct social media um, route, which is through Instagram. Here I have Instagram. Uh, here's an example. I posted this dress yesterday. I've got a lot of interest in it. Uh, it is listed on eBay, but I could have put it right on Instagram with a price tag. And then basically, once you build a big enough following, you could just list your items and then have people message you directly or comment below the item saying you know interested and then you could just go in order to make it fair of who got to it first and then you could send them a paypal invoice and they can pay for it and you can ship it away just like you would anywhere else so instagram of course requires a following i have about eight thousand followers i don't use it i use it every day but i don't use it as much as i probably should um, but if you can grow the following you can certainly sell some merchandise no doubt about it so those are your uh, top ways outside of eBay and Amazon to sell some of your goods. Also great places to source some merchandise um, from time to time. So make sure you make a list of these, save them in your phone, download the apps if you're interested in trying any of them out, and uh, tell me in the comment section how they work below. Or if you already use some of these in the comment section below, tell me how good you do on some of these. Tell me some of your sales numbers, how many items you sell, how much you sell, how often you use it. Whatever you want to tell me about it, I'd be interested to see how everyone else does. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And uh, I'm going to try to get it uploaded before the storms hit and we lose power. My laptop is fully charged. But if we lose power, we'll lose the router. So I'll have to do my hotspot on my phone. But uh, I appreciate it if, uh, if this gets uploaded in time, you guys taking a look at it. And uh, thanks for your time, guys. I'll see you next time.